Y'all, Rome is a beautiful ancient city that brings over 9 million international tourists to visit every year, making it one of the most visited cities in all of Europe. I've had the pleasure of visiting a few times and I've taken multiple forms of transportation all around the city. So today I'm sharing with you how to get around Rome on a budget that's right. We're talking about Rome public transportation tickets, passes, maps, how to get from Fiumicino and Ciampino airports to the city center of Rome, and so much more. Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome back to my channel. At Frolic and Courage, I like to make videos on travel, food, and life, and today y'all, today, we're talking about this, viaggio, which means to travel or take a trip or journey in Italian, so let's get right into it. First, I'll give you an overview of the entire public transportation system. Then we'll talk about how to actually get around Rome on a budget. We're talking about tickets, costs, where to buy your tickets, maps, and all the fun details you'll need. Then we'll talk a little bit about some alternate forms of transportation and close out with how to get to and from the airports to the city center. So if you're excited, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe to my channel and let's get started with a quick overview of the system. In this video, we're talking about Rome, Italy. Rome is actually located in the Lazio region of Italy, which includes Fiumicino and Ciampino airports, the Civitavecchia cruise port for all you cruisers, and other key ports around the city. There are 22 rioni or districts in Rome, and each rioni has a different neighborhood associated with it. And it's labeled with Roman numerals one through 22, and you'll see that on street signs all all throughout Rome on the side of buildings. For example, there is Monte, which is Rione 1, and it's the most central neighborhood. There's Trevi, which is Rione 2, and it has, of course, the Trevi Fountain and Piazza Barberini. Then there's Trastevere, which is Rione 13, that has great restaurants and a lot of charm. And then there's Prati, which is the latest Rione 22. So that's a quick overview of how Rome is laid out, but there are multiple transportation types available to you. You can take a tram, a trolley bus, a region railway, urban railway, the Airport Leonardo Express train, and of course the bus system. Buses are a really popular way to get around Rome on a budget. There are over 350 bus lines in Rome, making this a very popular form of transportation. It can be crowded and uncomfortable at times, but it'll get you where you need to go. Then there's the metro. Rome has one of the smallest metros in Europe, made up of only three lines in different colors. There's line A, which is the orange line that'll take you to the Vatican, the Spanish Steps, and the Borghese Gallery. There's line B, which is blue, and it'll take you to the main station, Termini, as well as the Colosseum. And there's a line C, which is green, that's not yet in service because the more you dig, the more ruins are discovered. So it might be a while before that line comes into play. And you will likely take a combination of either metro, bus, or tram, or really walk to your destinations while you're in Rome. As far as hours of operation, the metro runs approximately every seven to 10 or so minutes from 5.30 a.m. till about 11.30 p.m. every day, and until maybe like midnight 30, <laughs> as I like to call it, on Saturdays. The buses, which are labeled Urban Lines U, run from 5.30 a.m. to midnight. And the night buses, which are labeled N, run from midnight to around 5 or 6 a.m.-ish. So now that you know the operating hours and a little bit about the region of Rome, now let's get into some helpful definitions. And I will refer to these definitions throughout the video, so be sure to pay attention. The first is ATAC, A-T-A-C. ATAC stands for the Azienda per i Transporti Autoferro... <laughs> for the Azienda per i Transporti Autoferro... Ferro... ATAC stands for the Azienda per i Transporti Auto Ferrenviere del Comune di Roma. Yes. <laughs> Got it. This is the company that runs most of the public transportation network in Rome and its surrounding municipality. You can visit atac.roma.it for more information. It has a wealth of information, so definitely check out that site. The next word you need to know if you're gonna take public transportation in Rome is Roma Termini. It is the main railway station in Rome and one of Italy's and Europe's biggest 
train stations. There are 29 platforms and daily service to cities all over Italy, as well as elsewhere in Europe. It's huge. So if any of your travel takes you through Termini, just be sure to keep like your bags close because pickpockets are known to frequent this station. You'll see references to Train Italia. Train Italia provides train services all across Italy and it's owned by the Italian government. So if you wanna to travel to a different city, you can probably take Train Italia as one of your forms of transportation. Train Italia runs the Ferrovi Laziali or the Lazio Railways also known as the FL trains. There are eight lines labeled FL1 to FL8 that run across the entire Lazio region. This is important to know because these trains run to and from Fiumicino Airport, line FL1, three stops in Rome, FL2, Roma to Butina, FL3, Roma Ostiense, and FL4 Roma Termini. Then you also have the Civitavecchia cruise port for all you cruisers runs on line FL5. As a helpful tip, if you buy FL tickets from a train Italia station, the ticket will read regionali, not FL1 or FL number. There are also Roma urban trains that connect you to neighborhoods on the outskirts of Rome. There are three lines. The Roma Lido, which connects you to the Porta San Paolo station in Rome, to Lido di Ostia, Rome's seaside neighborhood, Roma Viterbo, which connects you with the capital city of the province of Viterbo, and the Roma Giordetti. The next acronym you'll see is the Consorzio Transporti Lazio, or the COTRAL. These are buses that run throughout Rome and the entire Lazio region out into the surrounding countryside. So with so many train lines, it can be kind of confusing. So that's why it's helpful to download a map of the train lines, particularly a map of the Metro and the FL train. I'm gonna have my blog linked in the description box down below. So I'll link to all those maps and everything we're talking about today. So you don't have to write everything down. So now that you know a little bit more about how Rome is laid out, the different forms of transportation and how Helpful definitions. Let's get into exactly how do you get around Rome on a budget. Let's start with the Metrobus system in Rome. This system has a lot of different ticket types and passes that will save you money. And all of the tickets and passes I'm going to mention in this section are valid on multiple forms of transportation, which makes it amazing. The Metrobus system in Rome allows you to travel on buses, trams, trolley buses, metro lines, on the Roma trains, on the Contral buses, and train Italia lines in the second class. The only forms of transportation the Metrobus system does not cover are the bus or train connections to and from the airports or those, you know, big bus sightseeing tours. There are actually a few ticket types and passes that can help you get around Rome on a budget during your next trip. The first is a BIT, which is an integrated time ticket. What is it? So it's a fare for just one trip or journey on the Metrobus system. It only costs one euro 50. And again, like I mentioned, you can take all those forms of transportation for just one euro 50 per ride. And so, ah, uh, that's definitely how you get around Rome on a budget for sure. It is valid for 100 minutes from the time you validated at your first entry port. You can buy a bit throughout the metro stations from an automatic ticket machine or booths, newsstands or tobacco shops, affiliated bars, the ATAC ticket offices, or through a tap and go credit card. But I'll explain tap and go when we discuss forms of payment later on in this video. Where can you use it? Well, all the forms of transportation I mentioned earlier, the bus, the trams, the trolleyways, the metros, but it's not valid on airport transfers. So if you're trying to get to and from Fiumicino or to and from Ciampino airports, it's not gonna be valid for that. And if you purchase this ticket or honestly any other ticket that I mentioned, do not forget to validate your ticket at the beginning of your journey when you switch from bus to tram or to metro line. The passengers found traveling without a valid ticket will be fined anywhere from 100 to 500 euros plus the procedural costs and postage charges if applicable. The penalty is reduced to 50 euros if you pay it within five days after notification, but honestly, don't risk it, just validate your ticket. It's a Euro 50. The next ticket type that'll help you get around Rome on a budget is called the 10-bit or the multi-bit ticket, 
which is essentially 10 bit tickets. It's a pass that holds 10 single trips. After the first pass runs out, just tap your card to load up the next pass up to 10 times. It costs only 15 euros and it is not valid for airport transfers. Where do you buy the 10 bit? The same places that you can buy the bit ticket. In my last couple trips to Rome, I spent like maybe six or so days and what helped me was the next ticket type. It is called the CIS or Integrated Weekly Ticket, formerly called a Carta Settimanale or a weekly seven day pass. This pass y'all only costs 24 euros, but get this, it is valid for unlimited journeys within the city of Rome until midnight on the seventh day. And where do you buy this ticket? Well, it's the same as the bit and the 10 bit tickets, same place. This is what the CIS ticket actually looks like. It's faded because it was in my back pocket, but your ticket must be personalized with your name, your last name, as well as your date of birth and shown to any attendant that asks. At the bottom, that's where you put your last name here, first name there, and then your date of birth. It's got a magnetic strip on it so you can swipe the card and it's a little bit faded now, but you can also just whoop, put it in the machines to validate your ticket. The CIS pass is not valid for airport transfers, but make sure you validate your ticket at the beginning of your journeys or when you switch to a metro line. In addition to the BIT, the 10-BIT, and the CIS, there are also tourist tickets. Now, tourist tickets are valid from the first time you validate it until the end of the designated time period. Tourist tickets allow you to have unlimited trips in the territory of Rome, similar to the CIS card. There are four different types of tourist tickets. There's the Roma 24 hour ticket, which is seven euros, valid for 24 hours. Roma 48 hour ticket for 12 euros 50. There's the Roma 72 hour ticket that costs 18 euros. And there's also a Roma Viterbo distance based ticket based on how far you wanna go. But honestly, the 24, the 48 or the 72 hour tickets will get you one days, two days and three days for such a great price, especially if you plan on taking a lot of public transportation in Rome. You can buy your tourist ticket along any of the metro lines A or B, or along the Roma Lido or the Roma Viterbo railways from about 7 or 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. Just print your receipt because you can buy them online and show the ATAC attendant. You can also purchase these tickets from an automatic ticket machine inside the metro at select bus terminals that have a station or at authorized shops like the newsstands and the tobacco stands. Now I'm also going to put a link to each of the Metro Bus Roma tickets, the BIT, the 10 BIT, the SIS, and the tourist tickets that I mentioned in my blog post and it's gonna give you a whole like description PDF so you can kind of compare and figure out what's right for you. So now that we talked about the bit, the 10 bit, the sis, and the tourist tickets, how exactly do you pay for them? Like, do you pay cash? Do you pay card? Like, what's up? There are different forms of payment accepted. As always, cash is king. So you can purchase these tickets by cash or card at any of the Metro machines, but make sure that you bring some cash because some machines are cash only bring euros, the small notes. You can also purchase e-tickets for a Metrobus card or like an e-Roma electronic card that holds your bit, your 10 bit, your tourist tickets, your CIS. You can also pay via app, B+, which is the new payment via smartphone. And you can purchase your bit tickets, your Roma 24, 48, 72 hour tickets, a monthly pass, my Cicero, uh, or ticket appy, or tablet, or drop ticket. There are a couple different apps that you can use to buy a digital ticket. There's also a new form of payment that you can use called tap and go. This is where you can pay with your contactless credit or debit card or smartphone or smartwatch, and it only works, however, on either the Metro or the Roma Lido, Roma Viterbo, and Termini Centocelli railways. It's not really valid on the buses yet, but they are working on it. So what tap and go is, if you haven't heard, it's if you have a credit card with a contactless symbol, which looks like a series of concentric uh, parentheses. If you have that symbol, you can just tap your card on the reader and then walk through. It'll charge your card, similar to kind of like the London system where you can just pay with your credit card when you get there. You don't even have to buy a ticket. Boop, tap and go, and you can pay for a single journey that way. So that's how to get around Rome on a budget using the Metrobus system, which I highly recommend. But there's also a Metrobus system in Lazio that I just have to mention really quickly. 
As I mentioned before, Lazio is an entire region and there are special tickets for this area. I'm not gonna go into depth because we are talking just about Rome specifically, but no, there are tickets and passes on the Metrobus Lazio system that allow you to travel in the entire Lazio region within the zones indicated on the ticket or the season pass. There is a BIRG, an integrated regional daily ticket, a BTR, a regional tourist ticket, and a CIRS, which is an integrated regional weekly ticket. And I'll put the links in the description box in my blog so you can check those out if you really wanna travel the entire Lazio region. So the BIT, the 10 BIT, the CIS, and the tourist passes are great ways to get around Rome on a budget using the Metrobus system, but how else can you get around Rome on a budget? Well, you can do that through rentals. There are scooter and bike rentals in Rome. Honestly, it's not necessarily the cheapest option compared to the one euro 50 of the bit ticket, but it can be the fastest way to get around Rome. So the cost of a rental varies by the rental type, like are you renting a bike, an electronic bike, an e-scooter, and the length of time rented. There's a few things you need to know about the cost of a bike or e-bike or scooter rental. It's that there is an unlock fee of around usually one euro plus a riding fee, which is usually 0.25 euros per minute plus 22% VAT. So when I took a scooter, my 15 minute ride via Lime scooter, which is owned by Uber, costs about five euros, so not bad for a single trip. The average daily cost that I had was about 11 euros 47 plus a 22% VAT, which was about 13 euros 99 per day or all the way up to 20 euros a day. The good thing about one of these rentals is that it is super fast. You can zip all through traffic jams and without really any delays. It's convenient, you can just pick it up and drop it off at a different location within the specified region. It is cheaper than ride sharing and day passes are affordable and it can really be fun riding around Rome on your scooter or bike with the wind flowing through your hair. It's really cool. The cons, however, let's be fair, is that Rome has a lot of uneven services, which makes for a kind of bumpy, disturbing ride. You have to check the charge levels because you may pick up a rental that's either not available or is not fully charged. And there are slight safety concerns because honestly, there's no helmet, so I do not recommend this for kids, and you are sharing the road with unpredictable drivers. And by sharing the road, I mean not trying to get hit by cars, honestly. Rome is not the most bike-friendly place at all, and plus the one-time fees and unlocking fees can add up. And guess what? If it rains, you better be prepared to slip and slide through the streets. But outside of that, taking a bike or a scooter rental will get you there pretty fast at a pretty affordable rate. Outside of bikes and scooters, what about taxis, ride sharing, Uber, Lyft? Is that available in Rome? Well, yeah, taxis are available in Rome, but it's one of the more expensive ways to get around. The average minimum fares based on the date and time cost around three euros on weekdays, five euros on Sundays and during holidays, seven euros at night, plus a one to two euro rate per kilometer and a one euro charge for each suitcase if there is more than one suitcase per person. Average trips on a taxi can cost anywhere between like six to 10 euros, which is more than four times the cost of a single bit ticket at one euro 50. There are Ubers in Rome, contrary to popular belief, you can summon an Uber, as I like to call it, but it's really not what you'd expect. There are no Uber standards or Uber pool services in Rome. The only Uber services that are available are Uber Black, Uber Van, and Uber Luxury Vehicles. Admittedly, I rode on more than a few Uber Lux rides, and honestly, it's really nice. If you're having like a nice night out and you get all dressed up to go to a Michelin star restaurant, it's a nice way to get around, but those costs can add up quickly. Bet to pay no less than 13 euros per ride, which is kind of crazy, because you can get a whole, you know, Roma 24 hour pass or 48 hour pass for around the same price. To get from Fiumicino Airport, expect to pay a flat fee of around 50 euros per ride or 30 euros from Ciampino Airport. Whew. And if you are cruising and expect to get to the port of Civitavecchia, that is around 125 euros 
flat fees, y'all, for a taxi or an Uber service. Oof. That's definitely not how to get around on a budget for sure. Speaking of the airport, let's go ahead and talk about how to get from the airport via public transportation to the city center of Rome. First, let's start with Rome Fiumicino or FCO Airport. FCO Airport is the largest airport in Rome, which is about 20 miles from the city center or about a 30 minute to an hour car ride, depending on the traffic, of course. You have a couple of different options. You can take the FL trains that I mentioned before at about eight to nine euros per trip. This is not the fastest way to go, but it is the most cost effective way to get from the airport to the city center of Rome. It takes about an hour and makes multiple stops along the way. In Rome, the FL train drops off at Trastevere, Ostiense, and Tiburtino stations. My suggestion is to take the FL1 to Tiburtina or Ostiense, then take the metro or bus or walk to your final destination. Next, there is the Leonardo Express train. Well, isn't this the FL train, the regional train? Nope, nope, nope. This is something completely separate. And I've taken the Leonardo Express train before too. It is fast, but it's not as cheap as the FL trains. At 14 euros for a one-way trip, this special train runs every 30 minutes non-stop from FCO to Roma Termini Station. Remember Roma Termini Station like I said before? Hope you didn't forget. From Termini, all you have to do is walk across the street to the metro. And if you don't know where to go after you get to Roma Termini Station, then watch my what you need to know before visiting Rome video to learn more all about that and I even did like a little Google map shot for you so check that out link is in the description box. So now let's talk about how to get from Ciampino Airport to the city center of Rome also known as CIA Airport. I personally flew into FCO Airport but let's talk about Ciampino. The CIA Airport is a smaller airport than FCO but it operates a decent number of flights. You can take the SIT bus shuttle for six euros or the Terravision shuttle bus for around four to six euros. And you can buy tickets online in advance. And again, the links will be in the description box. We learned about the types of transportation, the hours, where to find maps, the ticket types, how to get around on a budget, the pros, the cons, how to get to and from Fiumicino and Ciampino airports to the city center of Rome. Now it's time for you to select the best ticket combinations for your trip. So my question to you is, what is right for your trip. You can rewatch this video or check out my blog to read and share this video with someone who's looking for the information and please share how you plan to get around Rome in the comments down below. I want to hear what you guys think, you know, which methods would you take? Or if you've already taken a trip to Rome or live in Rome or have lived in Rome, please share other ways to get around. This list is by no means exhaustive. So let's help each other out by putting all the different ways you can get around Rome in the budget. So definitely check out my planning a trip to Italy playlist to learn more about what you need to know before going to Rome. Get a peek at where we actually stayed in Rome, get vlogs of city life and get ideas for your next itinerary. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell for more practical travel, food, and life videos. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you have questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye. Viaggio, 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 oh, viaggio, oh, 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 oh. Piaggio! Woo! <laughs>